Hello guys, I'm at Eurogamer with Kitty. Uh, can you tell us a bit about your game? Well, darling, my game's called Kitty Powers Matchmaker. It's a uh, dating simulator with a difference. You see, what you do is you get an endless stream of procedurally generated cretins that you have to match up with people out of my little black book. And then you send them on dates to uh, different restaurants and guide them through the dates to make sure they don't drop any clangers. And then if they impress each other enough at the end, you'll get them into a relationship and that's how you earn your points and get promoted by me and of course I'll be there all the way through giving you little snarky comments and little bits of advice as well So has this game been in development for long or? We started it at the beginning of 2013 Sorry, 2014, no 2013, so it's two years so well nearly two years, yeah, it just came out about a week and a half ago How much replayability is in this game? Can you play it uh, more than once with different people? Well, the good thing about it is that because the characters are procedurally generated, you can play it forever and you'll never really see the same character twice. So it is designed to be replayable. Plus, you've got your online stuff, so you can connect to Facebook and play against your friends. And you might even see them in your black book, in your uh, client list. So you can send your friends on date. So it's really quite cool like that. Yeah, very replayable. Is it multiplayer? Only in an asynchronous way, so you've got your high score tables, um, so that's your multiplayer basically. But what we didn't want was, we wanted people to be able to play it in their own time, so for convenience. When you're on your bus, you can be sending people on dates, but you can always, every week there's a new high score. So we reset the high score tables every week, so there's always a good chance to beat your friends. And whoever's at the top of the table wins coins, so there's a prize every week. Who designed the character Kitty? I did. I'm the, I did the creative direction on the project, so I designed, I directed everything, although we did have a team of, uh, we had an artist from Sweden who did all the artwork, and I just sort of, I've done art direction before for people like EA and Criterion, and uh, I've also done some art for Tearaway, for the Vita, for uh, Media Molecule, so I've got a lot of experience. I've been making games since about 1996. Are you getting paid extra to be an actor? No, I'm afraid not, but hopefully it'll draw some people to buy the game. We wanted to stand out, you see. <laughs> so I wore my biggest wig. So are you hopefully going to hook anyone up if you see some singles around here? Well, what we're going to do is give... Uh, people can win T-shirts. Um, if they bring a friend or a, or a partner, they can come and answer some questions from me, and if they get enough of them right, they can win a T-shirt. And is this game released or is it in uh, development? It's out, out now on all those places there. Google, uh, the Google Play Store, uh, the Mac, uh, iTunes Store, and on the Kindle Store as well. You mentioned Facebook. Is it is it is it going to be coming on Facebook as an app on there or? No, no, no. It's it's purely mobile at the moment. We just use Facebook to connect you to your friends list. But we'll never post on your wall. <laughs> is there anything you'd like to add or tell? The internet. I think you, I think this says it all really darling so just come to the booth and see me or buy the game and you'll see me anyway and I love you all sweeties. Mm. Right, thanks for talking. Oh, oh, thank you. <laughs>